Hello and welcome. So today we have a Tommy Tippy sterilizer. Basically, we use this two days into having our newborn and the thing stopped working. So we rung them up and they were very good and they sent us one free of charge, next day delivery, no questions asked. I can't fault them for that, they're really good. But knowing me, I'm really interested in what's going on inside and to see if we can fix it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Right, let's get to it. So, at the back here, we have some security bits. I haven't got them, but a nice small flat head. Um, I found fits in just nicely and let's undo it. Right, there we go. So, we have the heater, we have the switch, and we have the indication LED. And I'm guessing that the thermal fuse is gonna be under here. So, let's do some continuity testing and let's test the heater for the resistance to see if it's, um, it's working. So I'm going to put it on the um, on the element, and we have an 89.5 or three. That's about right. I think it's 90 for a uh, 650 watt at 240 volt heater. So I don't think the heat is the problem. So I'm going to now put it over to continuity and we're going to start probing so I think I'm going to work on the live first so I'm going to find out what the live is coming in which is in here and if I can get to that the live is in there we're going to follow that around so we have power from that join from the live to the live of the switch here so that's okay I'm now going to do the neutral so I want to find the neutral I'm going to follow it round to here I have nothing so maybe the fuse thermal fuse in there needs replacing I have continuity through the switch so that's not the problem so yeah let's get to this and have a look Right, I have a thermal fuse. It's 240 volts at 216 degrees at 15 amps. So I'm gonna replace it and see if we can get it working. We'll have to take some of this shielding off. So I always do the tug test to see if it's nice and tight. Let's just test the continuity between it, just to make sure. Yeah, there you go. We now have continuity for it. So, let's slide the insulation back over and put it back together. So, I always do the tug test to see if it's nice and tight. Let's just test the continuity between it, just to make sure. Yeah, there you go. We now have continuity for it. So, let's slide the insulation back over and put it back together. Right, I'm gonna go get some water and we'll test it. Right, so I think in the instruction book it says minimum of 80 mils. So I've got about 100 mils here just to see if it works. So we're gonna tip it in and find out. Well, there you go. Right, there you go, all fixed saves going on the scrap pile for the sake of seven pound for the crimps and the thermal fuse you really can't go wrong and it gives a new lease of life to something that was not even three days old now i know it was under warranty and they sent us a new one but still there's no point throwing it away if it can be fixed thank you for watching hope you liked it please comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video